Hey guys, this is Travis with DevX. Today we're looking at how to effectively manage the TAC-14 or the Mossberg Shockwave. As you can see, my TAC-14 has been modified a little bit. I got the Surefire uh, flashlight pump. It's a uh, great little flashlight for shotguns and it's a built-in hand stop, which is really good for this technique we're going to use. Uh, we're going to start with birdshot, but before we go into that, we're going to do a little bit of an explanation of the technique. So the first step is when you aim the shotgun, the scatter gun, you're putting it about to where it would be if it had a stock. So I get it up here, I have it at eye level, I can look down the sights. And what I'm doing is I hold it up as I'm pushing forward with this hand, like I'm trying to hit someone with it. But at the same time, I'm pulling back with this hand. And what that does is give me stability. So the shotgun's not going to recoil. It's not going to give me this uh, fearsome recoil. So let's try a little bird shot and we'll move on to buckshot. Let's see what we can do. It's not bad, right? Um, I was in complete control of the weapon. Got three shots off pretty fast, which is just bird shot, I know. But uh, we'll change it up and hit some buckshot and see what we can do. Alright, so I got a target set up and we're going to launch some buckshot at it. You guys may have noticed this chest rig. This is from uh, Gadsden Dynamics and is their partisan chest rig. Works pretty good for this purpose. This is all buckshot, so I'm not going to shoot it all today because it's expensive. But we'll try one and we'll see how it patterns with my technique. Well, not so much how it patterns. We'll see if I can actually hit the target. Safety's off. How'd the recoil look on that? Not bad, right? So, let's go uh, take a quick look at the picture. So, again, at 10 yards, this is not bad at all. Alright, guys. Uh, we got some steel targets down range. Let up a few more buckshot and uh, see if we can ring it. But, uh, this is my favorite part. I rang steel. I don't know if you guys could hear it. But, uh... Hit it every time, feel pretty confident about it. So again, for the technique, I'm pushing with this hand while I'm pulling with this hand. So when I get it up there, so I'm slack right now, pushing, I'm pulling. And then after I fire, which we'll do, this is the weapon's dry, but either way, we're gonna point it down range. So I get up, I got that pressure on, I fire, I relax. Pump the gun, relax. And I am no expert on this technique. I'm still learning it myself, especially with, you know, full power buckshot. Trust me, this uh, reduced recoil stuff here, it's a lot nicer to handle through these guns. But I did want to show that this gun and you can handle full power buckshot. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the article. All right, you guys stuck around for the post credit scene. Uh, decided if Marvel can make a billion dollars doing this, maybe I can make like 10 bucks doing it. So we're going to show you some uh, one-handed operation of the Remington TAC-14. And uh, don't do this at home. I need to put like a little thing down here that says don't do it at home, I will. Some of you guys are reading this, watching this at work with the uh, volume muted. So let's uh, show you guys how to do this one-handed. This guy's going in here. Open the action. Close the action. And you see the recoil will actually make it do that. So get it cruiser ready again, so this way it pumps freely. So it did it again. It's not the most efficient way to manage these guns, but it can be done. It's not what I would call a uh, tactical exactly. That one actually loaded the shell for me. There's a, what is that, four rounds of bird shot. Thanks for tuning in, guys.